Hello everyone, this is Ephraim here, and I'm going to be playing some Dev Pro. Today I'm going to play Rated. I'm going to be playing a single, not a match, because I can't trust matches. Because some people will go and they leave you inside and you don't even know. I'm going to be playing a Constellar deck today. I like tomorrow. the base of this Constellar deck was not made by, made by me. It was made by someone else, Nutkun. I will link to them in the description. I'm just using their deck to try and get a feel for Constellars, because I kind of want to play them a bit. It's more like a rank 5 build that does things. Oh, that does things. I don't think I want to go all in turn 1. Grab costs. So, I have a sturdy play next turn. Alright. Let's see what I'm up against. I mean, I don't really like playing Dev Pro Rated just because. I mean, I don't really have a reason for it. I just prefer to play unrated. At least in matches. I, I never play matches on Dev Pro. That simple as that. I don't see a reason to. I mean, sure, you could practice for siding and everything, but I don't play in real life at all. It's too expensive. I'm not going to waste my money. Money that I don't have on that. So he's playing Fables. Alright. Sorry for no background music, but YouTube's been a pain in the ass recently, so you're getting no music. Grimro. Change all face up. There's a searcher. I've played Fables a little bit before, but I don't like them. I mean, I like them, but I don't. I don't know if I've shown. Yeah, you've seen the duel. You use Maxi, and it's like, well, do I leave all these weak monsters on the field, or do I go all in and then lose? I mean, usually it's not like that, but. I mean, a lot of decks lose to, can lose to Max C if they go if they don't know what they're doing. What's that? Nazuchi. You can discard a fabled monster. It's a Chawa that's not a tuner, basically level two. All right. Yeah, yeah. Pitch Chawa. All right. What are you gonna make? The fabled Unicorn. I'm not afraid of Unicorn. Well, except when I can't destroy it, that kind of hurts. Those back down, those back down. What the? Those face downs shouldn't be anything dangerous. I mean, yeah, it can't be destroyed, right? This card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. So no bottomless for me. Well, I could bottomless, but I wouldn't do anything. Because <laughs> bottomless destroys and vanishes. 22. Alright, so I have a few options here. I can go for Pleiades. Oh, look, a reinforcement of the army. <laughs> Grab a Pollux. See if he stops at this. No normal summon Algieti, I think that's how you pronounce that. No normal summon that, I get the special cost. I want all in, hoping those face downs aren't anything dangerous. Go for an instant fusion. Bring out Giltia. Activate the effect it costs. Make make it level five. It doesn't matter who I make level five because I'm gonna be exceeding with both with everything. Anything? No. First, I'm gonna go for the Beehive. 
And if, if he has a face down anything to stop me, then I'm kinda in trouble. Number 33, Konomaly... I don't even know what the name of this is. Konomaly Makumek. Activate Dark World Shackles. Make that have no attack. Doesn't matter who I detach. It's like 2100 damage and have him gain that amount. I mean, he shouldn't have anything. Right? Oh, Behav wasn't even necessary. I just wanted to be sure. I didn't feel like doing math. Yeah! That's how you win a rated match. Eh, I'm not even going to save the replay. Doesn't really matter. Let's get into another one. Single. That, that actually worked. Alright. Getting somewhere. Now we wait. I like Constellars. I like this build especially. It's not really Constellars, more just a rank 5. Turn that down. No, I was turning down my volume. I don't want to play anything. I got the costs and the... Pandemonium? I just faced a guy on DN who played Pandemonium I swing Kossi Scoops. Just... is the same guy? Is that Heliotrope? It is. What's General do? Doesn't he search Pandemonium? I, I don't want to play anything. I'm reading. Yeah. 2100 attack. Ow. That hurts. Ah, uh, back row, really? And if that dies, I have Ghost Ship. Oh, he's got something face down. What's it gonna be? Nothing? Some Constellacos? I might just make a Tyrus. I kinda play... My playstyle is more defensive at times. Especially times like this. Doesn't... My playstyle doesn't exactly fit this deck, I suppose, but... Oh well. Yeah, I think I just want to make a Tyrus. Well. That wasn't something I wanted happening. I'll just ram the Cyber Dragon, because I want Cost to try and live. What's this? It has to pay life points for Arc Fiend. If not, I can add an Arc Fiend. Oh, so when I kill General, he's gonna search something. Nah, whatever. Oh, no, he doesn't. When... Oh, except by battle. I gotcha. Because that's what Arc Fiends do. They destroy... They're kind of like scraps. They destroy themselves by effects. I think... I think that's what they do. I don't... I haven't paid too much attention to Arc Fiends. They aren't really much of anything to me. Hit the Solemn. Not my compulse. No. Oh, oh well. I've got Windjammer and Ghost Ship. Oh no, a Heliotrope. Should I? <laughs> nah. Nah. I was seriously considering Solemn Judgmenting the Heliotrope. So he must be playing Rabbit if he's playing Heliotrope. But why is that nece That's not really necessary in Arcfiend's... Is it... Is that Arcfiend normal monster? I don't know, maybe he just likes... That... No, special summon the Solar Windjammer? I don't know, 
Dark World Shackles 1850. Not really worth it right now, is it? What's special? Shark Fortress is a thing. I almost want to just go for a Volcasaurus play. You know, let's go for a Makumek. It'll only be 18. It'll only do 1800, but. Or 1850. You know what? Forget it. I'll just do it either way. Take that 1850. A little bit off in damage, but hey, whatever. Uh, there's probably a much better play there, but I just want to do as much damage as possible. He keeps the... Da oh yeah, he does. He stays at the 4250. And that'll be game. Two wins in a row. First time using this deck. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Ephraim. If you want to see me play some kind of deck, then just tell me. I guess. I don't know. I'll warn you now, I'm bad at making decks. That's why I use other decks as a base, usually. But, until next time, see you later.